Excellent. Welcome to this awesome presentation. Thank you all for taking the time. I know that a you know Saturdays sometimes Saturdays are uh, a tough time for people to break away uh, from from that family time from maybe traveling and you know you're working all week and you're grinding it out and you look forward to that weekend to hey let me go out and do something fun. Well, yes, and here I am. Hey, show up for this uh, you know amazing Super Saturday uh, event. Well, the beauty of it is it's online, right? If you know. Uh, anything about, like I said, network marketing or any type of marketing and, you know, being invited to a Saturday event and things like this. Yes, in the past, you know, you show up to an actual um, hall room or some type of event room and our hotel uh, conference room, you know, there's some logistics involved there that just really kind of takes up your day. Uh, but now we've made it very easy to where you can actually be mowing the yard. I had a gentleman saying he was mowing his grass, but he was listening, you know, in uh, to to my webinar because he really wanted to be on, but he really needs to mow his grass. So you can be doing other things, but at least you could be getting this information. And uh, and so we really appreciate you taking that time out of your busy schedule and even your relaxing your 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 leisure day right because you want this information because you see something bigger and better for yourself your family your community so thank you so i'm gonna i'm gonna push forward and uh we're gonna try to keep this exciting i uh, don't want nobody falling asleep on us all right so here we go you know there's always a disclaimer yeah, that's that's just common things um there is an actual uh uh, what they call forecasting, or there'll be talk a little bit about um, coins and production and, and valuations, things like that. But really the key here is this, and I'm just gonna read this right quick so everybody will get the same information and the same interpretation. This information should, be, uh, should not be taken as a call to action or an urge to utilize the described services. Any decisions on the use of any of the materials, any of the services, any of the products, should be made independently. In other words, your decision is your decision, I, not my decision. So go ahead and relax, take some notes if you have to, review the information as we go along, and then, hey, you know, make that decision. You know, like other 200,000 people have, you may join the ranks of the members or coin holders. Today, we're going to really get into the relationship between Sapphire Global, Zanique Technologies, and OCS International Investment Bank. As we know, Zanique is the topic, right? Every time you hear about this organization, you hear about this program, you hear about this opportunity, it's the Zanique. Why? Because Zanique actually has the product and services. The main product is the Zanique coin, right? Uh, we can call it a product, uh, but it's actually a service, but that's that's some technical uh, differences. Sapphire Global, who is Sapphire Global? You're like, I really haven't even heard that term before. Well, Sapphire Global is the actual exclusive distributor for Zanique Technologies products and services. So the actual opportunity is really from a Sapphire Global perspective. And so you'll hear me try to incorporate that as much as possible, but I get caught up in saying Zanique more than Sapphire sometime as well. And so, you know, so it's not a, it's not a big deal in the big picture, but we have been informed to, to try to be, you know, correct in, in the terminology and the roles that each one plays. So Sapphire Global is the actual marketing company, which we are marketing for, and Zanique Technologies is the product and services company, and we are marketing their products and services, right? So who is OCS International Investment Bank? OCS is an international bank that has taken on Zanique Technologies as a client in order to help them become more profitable because they see an opportunity there with the uh, powerhouse of blockchain based services that they provide. So that's our team uh, of, of kind of companies and the leadership of the blockchain technologies that we're going to talk about today. Who's behind the company? Well, you got CEO, COO, CMO, CSO, and of course, there's a whole plethora of others that help run this, uh, this operation. If you want to know more about them, do a little research and you'll find out who they are, what they do, what their background is, so on and so forth. Yes, they've been in this type of business for a long time. They, um, the previous company uh, was called Joelis. You will see that information if you do a little research. Some people come up with that information and have, um, they, they look at it in the way of, oh my gosh, there's two companies doing the same thing. 
no, they're not, <laughs> they're not doing the same thing, but these are some of the people that ran that previous company. And now they started their own company called Zanique. Uh, but they, they have that, they brought that technology with them to a place where they could actually get it off the ground and actually utilize it in the public sphere. So, so yeah, you can do a little research. You'll find out some things like that. If you got any questions, absolutely get in touch with me uh, about any of the leadership and any of the um, company, you know, type terminologies and things like that, that you may come across in your research. Everybody has to do their due diligence on their own. So we want to know, you know, bottom line, we want to know what is the mission, you know, of um, Saphir Global? What's the mission of Zanique Technologies? You know, why are we here? Well, Saphir Global wants to connect traditional banking and crypto in one system where people can build a viable business and create a sustainable income by using the Zanique platform. Now, obviously that's why we're here because Saphir wants to give us that opportunity to create that viable business and create a sustainable income using exclusively Zanique Technologies, which is a FinTech enterprise. What does Zanique Technology bring to the table? They are the next generation of crypto and fiat, seamless fiat and crypto ecosystem for finance and investments. Zanique Technologies has opened the door, blasted through all of the competition to enter the multi-trillion dollar market. So definitely exciting about where we are and where we're going. So when we talk about those three companies, one of the common things they have is they're based in Dubai. So let's talk a little bit about Dubai. One, Dubai is called the blockchain city. I call it the blockchain hub of the world for good reason, because one, uh, they do allow for any and every company that wants to uh, you know, develop blockchain services, come to Dubai. If you want to be a part of the uh, Smart City Accelerator, come to Dubai. Um, a year before um, Zanique Technologies got off the ground, they were actually in a, a, a they created an accelerator um, or an academy, but it's kind of like an incubator or accelerator for businesses that wanted to participate or create blockchain services and blockchain service solutions. And so they've, they've definitely been there for a long time before they even launched their Zanique uh, blockchain. So very, very uh, interesting uh, background. And if you want to partner with a company that is in the blockchain business and they are in Dubai, then you're in the right place, right time for the right reasons. So definitely exciting, exciting place, exciting location. <clears throat> and of course, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm excited because this is an opportunity that after looking at so many different things over the years, you know, I started in, in, in kind of network marketing uh, back in 97. And yeah, I think it was 1997 or so. And um, really, you know, great opportunities, great companies, uh, you know, in, in their own way, they were doing doing what they believed uh, was was the good thing. The one company, I, my first company was ACN, American uh, Communication Network. And to this day, they're still going. And so, you know, they must have they must have been doing something right. Uh, but definitely not something that I personally would want to do today. Uh, but I love the business model. And, and I think that to help others. Um, find a way to, you know, create a side hustle and earn a little extra income or to build, you know, networks and understand how that works to build those relationships and create those multiple streams of income. Uh, because most people, you know, have a job and they have, you know, they want a little extra, but they don't want to take away from that quality time with their family. Well, in order to build it and build it big, then yes, you're going to have to take some sacrifices. And that's why Coach Rashid is the, the name or the title that I prefer uh, when it comes to, you know, just having some type of title is because I took the time to say, how do I become better at helping people? How do I become better, you know, um, at delivering a message to, um, you know, anybody that wants better uh, personal, professional, social, you know, whatever type of development, you know, an individual wants, I want to make sure that I can deliver uh, on those levels. And that's what I, and I decided to go ahead and get certified as a strategic, strategic intervention coach, which encompasses uh, life's, you know, life coaching and relationship coaching, um, 
there's career uh, and there's, you know, obviously there's a, um, kind of a financial uh, consulting con coaching aspect to that as well. And so these are some of the things that, you know, I've put my effort into uh, my money, my education into in order to be, you know, a better person. Now I say that to say this, you can see, okay, this guy has done a few things in the past, right? You know, I've been in this business for a while, I've been in internet marketing, I've uh, been affiliate marketing, you know, I've earned over 40K uh, a month. I've, I've done all of those things. I've built organizations across the globe. But what I really want you to think about is while you're listening, is this person good for something that he used to do? Or is this the right person I want to partner with and take me from where I am to where I want to be? That's really the key to this transition of a slide. Now, if you want to reach out to me, you can hit me up on any of the locations there. You got Telegram, you got Facebook, and you get my website called knowofme.net. And you can find out more information right there. But you came for the opportunity, not me. So let's focus on the opportunity. Zanique Technologies is developing the first fiat cryptocurrency financial Zanique hub. They've combined their asset exchange platform with strong cryptocurrency and a, mo a modern mobile fiat banking system supporting their seamless network. Now here is, I think, the one paragraph that sums it all up. Zanique provides you the opportunity to invest in products and projects in the early stage to enjoy strong profits and tokenized assets to increase your investment or return on investment. That right there says it all. You are here today because you want to be part of a company that has created a path within a very, very large, large field of opportunity. But they found a niche in that opportunity that gives you a leg up, that gives you an opportunity to be first. That's how powerful this is. And so when they say invest in products and projects in the early stage, they're talking early stage where you have the opportunity to invest and see the whole creation of those products and services. And you become one of the few that get the lion's share of those commissions, of those profits going forward. How awesome is that? All right. So this is where we want to be. One, we're going to talk about three companies, which I mentioned earlier. Uh, two, why Zanique? Why Zanique? Everybody wants to answer that question. This is a full circle solution. So we're going to talk about why Zanique, and it's going to show you in that ecosystem why Zanique is the absolute best program out today for passive and active investment. We're gonna talk about Zanik coin and the value. We're gonna talk about the Zanik decentralized exchange and blockchain, the, the Zanik hub, and we're gonna talk about tokenization projects and strategic partnerships. So if you have questions, then Zanik has those solutions. When it comes to merging the fiat and crypto world in a legal and an amazingly um, inclusive way and seamless way is really what I'm looking for, then this is the place to be. So asset accumulation, when we talk about asset accumulation, we're talking about you're going to be in a position to purchase what they call a master node or a hub within this organization, and it's going to mint or produce coins and eat coins for the next 20 years. That's how powerful it is when it comes to asset accumulation. Sometimes you may hear somebody say asset accumulation and they may have, well, you're going to earn a little bit today. And if you pay more, you're going to earn a little bit more. And hey, maybe if you pay more over here, you're going to earn a little bit more. No, one time pay and you get to earn coins continuously for 20 years. It is set up that way. Now, if the coins are all sold out because so many people jumped on this opportunity maybe five years goes by and those coins are gone. But guess what? If you have a hub, which you have a mash node as part of that hub, then you're going to be able to participate in additional tokenization projects that can produce the same effect, but just on another level. So just because, you know, all the coins are gone in one respect, then there's new opportunities that the company has already started on to create additional tokens and coins from that same hub. So you're good to go. If you, if you have that hub, you're good to go. There's going to be a decentralized exchange coming uh, mid next year, uh, and we'll talk about that in a minute. And like I said, we're talking about this trillion dollar market, which we call tokenization. 
And that's just taking things from, you know, the, the physical world into the digital world. And uh, yeah, uh, Zanik Technologies is a leader in that space. A lot of times uh, we reflect on, oh, somebody's offering me a new opportunity. And we start thinking about, well, in 2020, you know, I tried different things online and it didn't work out. And we found out that they didn't even have an office. They're not even a real company. Well, this slide just gives you an insight to, yes, there's an actual office. There's the address. You can visit it. You can have somebody visit it. I have many people on my team that have actually visited um, the offices in Dubai. So they have firsthand experience of, yes, it's real. So no worries on that, but that's just kind of give you an idea, give you the address as well. And so if you if you have somebody there or if you want to visit yourself, then that's the information right there. And kind of that's what it looks like. OK, a little bit more about OCS International Bank. They have eight branches across the globe. Uh, they've been in business for a long time. Uh, they have about 500 million uh, or yeah, I think 500 million dollars worth of assets under management. And this is the one based out of Dubai. So the other branches obviously have additional but just out of Dubai, they have about $500 million um, uh, dollars worth of assets under management. They do have a private crypto fund, which is amazing because you have an actual investment bank that is investing in this particular organization. And while they're investing in this uh, organization called Zanik Technologies, which is a blockchain based company dealing with crypto, then you want somebody backing you, supporting you and advising you that actually has experience in that space. And guess what? The CEO of this particular organization has been in the crypto trading, Forex trading, blockchain based services. So they understand what they see and they see that Zanik Technologies is going all the way to the moon with this opportunity and they want to be part of it. And that's why they've invested in that particular company. Yes. Um, so hopefully that gave you some insight to the company, um, the, the kind of relationship between the three different companies, Sophia Global, Zanik Technologies, and OCS. So that was kind of what I wanted to make sure we keep that, you know, where it is in the front, make sure you, you don't have any issues with that. You know, if you got any questions about it, no problem. Um, we'll put you in touch with the right folks that can answer that. Now, I want to go ahead and take you into some of the product um and services that we provide but before we do that let's talk a little bit about this strategic partnership we have um influencers right and, and i think that everybody has a good grasp on the concept of influencers well in the west an influencer is about um youtube is about um instagram and whoever can perform the best on social media those are influencers and funny enough, they have social currency, right? People actually will follow them. People actually will respond to them. And people will pretty much do what these influencers tell them on social media. Well, in the Middle East, when you have support from the royal family and your organization, and they appreciate what you're doing, and you start to partner up and you actually you know, build contracts with their actual government, then they know that you're legit then they will actually come out publicly and show their support. Now, if you weren't legit, if you were not a strategic partner, I don't believe you're gonna get a picture with or get an actual media event with the Royal family. That's just not gonna happen. I spent about eight years in the Middle East doing business. So I'm kind of certain on how that would work. So when you see these pictures, this is just a depiction of, yes, they are actually legitimately partner with the royal family. And there's been questions about it, but at the end of the day, we know that this is happening. So there's no reason to, to push forward and try to convince people of otherwise. These are the influencers in the Middle East. And those influencers are called the royal family. And when the royal family is influencing, there's nothing bigger than that. And so to have Zanik as a, a strategic partner with the royal family, then that influence stretches to that company. And we are marketing for that company. So you know, there's nothing but benefit in that relationship we talk about blockchain well we know that the ceo of binance knows a little bit about blockchain having the largest exchange in the world for crypto um, says the blockchain will be bigger than the internet well as you can see there are so many different types of businesses different areas of um, you know industries for blockchain technology and it's presenting itself uh, pretty much in everything you do 
So we know that blockchain technology is not going away anytime soon. So we might as well get our piece of that industry through this particular organization. Speaking of blockchain, Zanique Des, yes, has its own blockchain. And the blockchain is what the Zanique Exchange will be built on, right? So, so everything that Zanique does is built on their blockchain, right? We just got to make that very clear uh, because I've been doing this, you know, for about three or four months. And when I talk about it, I believe that the information is disseminated in a, in a good way to make sure people understand that Ethereum has their own blockchain, ERC-20, Tron has a TRC-20, and Binance Coin has BSC, their Binance Smart Chain. There are many others, but these are the three main ones. People get confused sometimes over is Zanique's coin built on an Ethereum blockchain? And the answer is unequivocally, no, it's not. Please explain that to anybody that mentions it or brings it up to you um, because it has become a, a conversation this, to this day. But I'm going to try to give you a quick you know, insight to the difference uh, between what Zanique is doing and why there is any attachment to the ERC-20 protocol. All right, so we have the Zanique exchange, uh, which is your decentralized exchange, just like uh, Coins, um, CoinSwap is one, um, Uniswap, PancakeSwap, and there's a host of others. Now, the difference between what the other decentralized exchanges are doing versus what Zanique is doing, the decentralized exchange like Uniswap is all based on Ethereum type coins or tokens. You cannot easily bring another coin from another blockchain and swap it on the Uniswap platform. You have to wrap it and then you can swap it. So at this particular point, you have the ability to utilize a wrapping process in order to exchange on that platform. So a lot of times we'll say this is different and you know you can't you can't move between ethereum and tron you can't move between binance and ethereum you can so so i don't hopefully that that doesn't come across as if you can't do it yes you can do it but it takes a lot more energy to do that and energy comes with fees right but what zanique has done is taken that away where you don't have those restrictions right so when we say across the board we're talking about you can exchange any coin or token or digital asset on the Zanique exchange without having the headache of wrapping and then swapping, right? So we're eliminating that biggest problem that no other agency in this space has done before. That's how powerful this is. So these guys are looking at what is the problem and how do we solve it? And that's where they started the Zanique project. How do we solve the problems that are out there? And they have obviously done that. They're just still creating the exchange. Uh, obviously the blockchain was already created a long time ago and it operates across the board. So any of the coins, any of the blockchains uh, that produce coins out there can be utilized on the Zanique exchange without the wrapping and the swapping problem. Excellent, amazing, revolutionary. So we wanna talk a little bit about the Zanique hub. As I mentioned in the, in, in the agenda, the Zanique Hub is critical. It is it is a powerful device um, that is really centered to your, your business. You have an asset manager here that can take care of every type of digital, you know, um, uh, transaction that you that you want or that you're looking for. So the first part of it is the safety. It is absolutely safe. There's so many measures to that. Um, there's no KYC re, re, you know, re, re, uh, required because you own it. It's yours. Nobody else has any, any, any reason to, to enter your particular property, uh, which makes it easier, you know, because there's just so many things you have to remember and so many different things you have to report. This is peer to peer. This is decentralized. This is your device. You talking to who you want to talk to digitally uh, in, in this particular uh, function. You have the Mashino that's part of this device. You have the Zanique network, uh, obviously that is revolutionary, which can, you know, blockchain as well as 
uh, the trading, um, the tokenization, um, you have the mining and you have minting. And definitely want you to understand that there is 1% minting, uh, mining and 99% minting. And so there's what they call a green minting uh, 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 process for the actual production of the, the Zenith coins. And so it's more, you know, um, environmentally friendly uh, to use the minting process, but the, 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 the mining, I have to get those two correct. The mining aspect is just a, a check and balance for the, the, the minting of the coins. It's a check and balance, that's all that is, right? And you have a, a co-wallet. So you have multi-coin wallet that's here as well. Now, one of the interesting things about this, and I think that you know people wanna know, when you get a Zanique app, when you have access to your back office and you have this device, they can all talk to each other. So you don't have to have one and, 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 and not be able to talk to the other and you know you don't have that problem. So if you have the Zing app and you wanna go make a purchase, then you can obviously go in there and you can look and you can see, oh, okay, yep, I have X amount of Zanik coins here, which will come from the hub or come from your back office. Um, so either way, you'll be able to reach back and see exactly what you have in there. You know, so they all talk to each other. So you don't have to worry about, you know, them kind of exclusive in their own space. Um, and we'll we'll talk a little bit more about that when it comes to how much it costs and, and what does it produce and so on and so forth, because there is some benefit there uh, to have the physical device, but you don't there's no requirement to have the physical device uh, to participate in the, in the hub process. But yes, the Zanique coin. This is uh, center to the program. Uh, a lot of people have made this program a coin program. It is not a coin program. So please be careful with that. The coins are produced. The coins will continually be produced. You make one purchase uh, coin package, and that package will give you the allowance of coin production. So when we say asset accumulation, you'll accumulate coins and you don't have to continually pay it. So if you want to go to Uniswap, where it's listed on Uniswap now, you can go to Uniswap and you can purchase your coin if that's what you want to do, right? If you say, I'm going to purchase 100 coins, you go, you purchase 100 coins and you huddle or hold them in your wallet until you you know the price goes up and you want to sell them but you cannot participate in any other commissions passively that the company is offering to the coin holder so you got to think of a coin holder as a stakeholder right or a shareholder it, just like if you buy stock in a company you have the opportunity to vote you have the opportunity to get dividends well it's the same thing here it's just not stock if you want to purchase directly from uniswap or a pancake swap those type of exchanges, you have the right to do that. Nobody can stop you. But if you want to benefit from the whole ecosystem of product and services on a passive level, you don't have to do anything extra, but because you purchased your hub or you purchased your coin package, you're able to get what we call commissions, or I, I would call them shares um, you know, from the, from the company because you have invested in the company, they're going to pay you commissions and, and what we call dividends and the you know, financial world, but these are shares or commissions uh, from those products and, um, and, and, and contracts and things like that, that they're doing. Um, they've already started, you know, some of the contracts actually. All right. So as you can tell here, it talks about a limited amount of, uh, of, of, of minting power um, and the annual halving. So they're talking about the sales halving and the, and the annual halving process, which, uh, which I'll cover here in a second. Um, there is tokenization projects that we'll be able to uh, benefit from. And all of this centers around the value of the coin. And so that's why this is mentioned on this slide is because the value of the coin is tied to uh, these projects and all of the things that they're doing. And they're like, like I said, revolutionary in this space. Then the support is coming from all different sides, um, you know, to, to, to jump on board with Zenith Technologies in their um, direction. You know, when it comes to tokenization, when it comes to, you know, the Z coin and the exchange, I mean, these are these are powerhouse ideals that are coming to life and, and being recognized by the industry. Yes, there is a unique exchange, as I mentioned, uh, that exchange, better rates, um, free transfers, low fees uh, when you use the Zneek coin. Um, and so when you look at this, right, the exchange itself, yeah, the, the, the real value in the exchange is the fact that you can exchange all types of tokens and coins all assets, any tokenized assets, you can do that on the exchange. That's not something you could do on any exchange right now. So that's one. They want to be in a position like the one of the top 10 exchanges in the world, you know, within three years. 
So that right there in itself, you know, it says something. They really are, you know, creating something different that every and anybody can use. Now, what is the most important aspect of this? Well, <laughs> if you're a coin holder, you know, I call a shareholder coin holder, you know, same, same thing, then you will be able to participate in commissions that are earned from the Zanik Exchange. 100% of the commissions from the exchange will go to the coin holders, shareholders, that would be members of this organization. That is something that's never happened in the history of this business. But this is where we are revolutionizing relationship marketing, network marketing, affiliate market, whatever you want to call it. At the end of the day, these guys are ahead of the game in taking care of their members. The Zanik app, real-time account monitoring. You have crypto and fiat payments that you can make point of sale right there at the the old device, um, you know, at the store, you hit it, boom, you pay for your food, you pay for your groceries, whatever you want to pay for, and you pay for it with whatever you have in your wallets. If you want to do Bitcoin, if you want to do uh, Zanik coin, whatever it is, they're still, like I said, it's still in development, uh, but they have, you know, put it on uh, Google Play so you can download it and you can look at it and you can, you know, just get a feel of it. But there are still things that's developing. You know, I always like to ask the question. Who out there has downloaded, you know, an app, right? Uh, Zoom app, for instance, or any of the other apps. Okay, so you downloaded that app. How many times have you upgraded because it sent you a notification that you need to upgrade? Update this app, update this app, because every app is being updated continuously. So that is no different. So if somebody, you know, sees the app and they download it and they're like, okay, I got the app, it's a, it's a multi-coin wallet, but it's not doing anything because just like every other app in the world, it's being updated with new technology, new things as well. And so we just give it time and it will add a lot of the features that we are talking about because these are things that they already have scheduled to put into that app. So fascinating stuff. Um, you know, like I said, we are in a pre, 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 you know, phase here. And, and you, you know, the, the beauty of it is you are, going to actually be the first to experience all of these awesome things that we're talking about today multi-trillion dollar market yes i think everybody was like what is he talking about multi-trillion dollars okay boom here we are tokenization now i want to make sure you understand tokenization is not a new concept um, people have used tokenization of their business in order to attract customers keep customers uh, to provide rewards and, and systems internally, uh, just like, uh, you know, flights and, um, you know, uh, transportation passes and things like this, you can only use them within, right? So that's a form of tokenization. But in the blockchain sense, tokenization is simply this, taking something from the physical world and putting it on a blockchain. And the way to do that is tokenization. Zanik Technologies has created a platform that they can easily do this for any industry, right? So when you see real estate, when you see solar plants, wind power, art, paintings, NFTs, um, patents, contracts, raw materials, any type of industry, any type of category, they have found a way to tokenize it. And that right there is something that others are trying to do. There are some out there doing the real estate tokenization, but they're not able to do the NFTs. Some doing NFTs and they're not doing real estate. So everybody has their hand in it, but they haven't captured and created a platform that Zanique has created. So uh, September 21st, there was a big launch um, of the Zanique uh, NFT or digital art platform. And they've already, like I said, they're already working on two contracts. And they, about a month ago, they said about 70 uh, that they were reviewing now they have over 80 contracts or potential contracts that they're reviewing to see if that's something that they want to take on so this thing has started the ball is rolling and if you're a coin holder you will benefit from the commissions off of these projects now what i've been told and don't quote me um yes this is being recorded but i'm just putting it out there so you will at least have an idea that one of the leaders said that uh the company 
will be paid between one and, and 5% of whatever contracts they get. This is a multi-trillion dollar market. These are multi-billion dollar contracts. And, and so for the most part, um, between one and five. So I said maybe 3% is right in the middle. And so think about it that way, right? If you're in a business, if you're a part of a company and you're marketing and they say, hey, we're going to pay you, you know, a commissions because of these projects. You're a coin holder, you invest it, you're going to get paid some commissions. So just put it into perspective, multi-billion dollar commissions. And now they're going to pay out, you know, one to 5% of that. And we are all going to benefit from that. So no, I don't have a number. I, I, I don't understand, you know, even how they do it. But at the end of the day, I know that there's commissions coming off of that. That's going to be amazing compared to any other area of the program. Okay. So you want to understand how do I get involved? If you're already in the program, then this is information that you can use when you're talking to your prospects. This is vital. This is critical. If you're new to this, this page right here tells you exactly how you don't miss out, how you get in the game, how do you become a member in order for you to benefit from everything I just talked about. One, you have the Zanique Hub 01. That Zanique Hub is a physical device. Yes, it is an actual device that you can purchase. And that device does everything that I talked about before. 1998 Euro is that particular device. It does mint coins as well. Right. So everything up here, you will get a coin package. You will get coins minted. The difference is this is the only one that's a physical device that you can get, you know, sent to your home. They have about a 12 week delay on that, but it is coming. It is almost finished. So that is the device. Now you have the 1498 Euro hub, which is a device, but it's a chip, a memory, kind of a memory chip type type uh, setup. And it's housed in an actual secure facility um, that is owned by Saphir uh, Global. That one mints coins as well. Now you have the 2X housing, which is 2950 euro. You have the 4X, that's 5,800 euro, and so on and so forth. Now, on the bottom left, you may be looking at this saying 1,900 euro, 1,400 euro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. I'm, I'm not prepared to go there. No problem. If your budget says, hey, I need to just check this out, I need to start at a reasonable amount for my budget, then you can go with the bottom left here, 100, 150, 250, 450, 800. So you do have fractions of the hub that are available for purchase as well, right? So you start wherever you feel comfortable to start. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you some insight to what these numbers mean, and then you figure out where you want to be. Do you want to be hoping that you can increase over time or do you want to get yourself in place so that you can start benefiting right away so there's two different angles to this and but we make it available to everybody it doesn't matter where you start you just need to get started all right so when you see the 2x 4x 8x 16x 32x 64x 128x and 256x think of those as shares okay so if you invested in this company you, you made a purchase in this company, that's your investment. Like a lot of times people don't want to talk about it as an investment because you're making a purchase. I get it. I get it. But your money is going in there and you're looking for some type of return. Well, look at it as if you purchased 2X. That means you purchased two times or two shares, four times or four shares, right? Eight times or eight shares. 16 shares, 32 shares, 64, 128, 256 shares. So these are the amount of shares that you can look at it that way. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you that that is exactly how they're going to calculate it. We've been told that those are like shares, right? So you can get a better understanding of, okay, when I invest here, that means that I am opening up the door for commissions from the tokenization projects. Yes, you are. You're going to get commissions from the decentralized exchange. Yes, you are. You're going to get coins minted into your back office um, that's that's qualified for 20 years. Yes, you are. So, so that's that's the purchase that you're making. The more investment, the higher the commissions. If you invest in a company, you purchase shares or stock, the higher your investment, the higher your dividends. So it's no different, same concept. If, you're, if you've ever invested in anything, you know that concept is pretty much solid. The more you invest, the more you get as a return. 
So that's how that works. So you just basically get with the person that invited you and have them have that conversation with you. And you decide what does your budget say? Where do you want to put your money in order for it to grow? And this is where you want to make that decision. Here's a quick recap. We know that the coin is centered to this whole program, right? It is not the program, it's centered to the results of the exchange, the results of the tokenization projects, the results of all the products and services that are created will facilitate the value of that coin going up, up, and up. So how does that work, right? And I'll show you on the next slide, the halving process. So every company <clears throat> starts somewhere and then there's <clears throat> progress check and then we wanna know where they're going, all right? So in 2018, if you've seen the video, uh, official video uh, with the CEO of, of Zanique, um, he talks about they started with an idea, had a question. How do we make the best, you know, exchange better than any other exchange out there? And that's what they've they've set out to do. And so and by mid 2022, we'll see that that exchange. Um, but right now, the timeline um, 2021 they actually launched the, uh, the coin, Zanique coin. It's on Uniswap as we speak, as I mentioned earlier. So it is on Uniswap. It started at about two, two or three cent per coin. And now it's, uh, I've seen it over 40 cent. Um, I think it's around 29, 30 cent right now. And, and so, you know, if you do the calculations, you know that we're in excess of 800% increase from the time it started. So I think that even at this point, it's going in the right direction if it's over 800% increase. So you want to be a part of this, this particular program so that you can benefit from the collection or accumulation of coins over time, right? So that's how, how that works. The coins are available uh, on Uniswap. So like I said, you have the choice. You can either purchase it one time and get X amount or you can purchase one time with this Saphir Global program and get them continuously for the next 20 years. So it's totally up to you. Then you have the Zanique Hub and the app introduced here in 2021. Uh, the first tokenization projects have been introduced to us in September. We have the debit card that's on its way. We have the Zanique Exchange on its way. And we have an actual university that's being created, built from the ground up in Dubai in 2022. They're going to break ground on that. That's their intention. That's what we're told. And we can't wait to see an actual university, a Zanique university with all things blockchain technology. And yes, you can get a bachelor's and an MBA at that location. So that's pretty cool. All right. So we talked a little bit about that. Um, I do want to hmm, cover. OK, yeah. So anyway, that's the that's the first part. Um, one last thing, I, I, and, I, and I just remember uh, the having process, I believe that is in the new set of slides, um, and, and, I, and I've been moving things around. So just let me give you a quick uh, synopsis on, on that having process. You have the annual having, and you have the sales having. The sales having says this, for every 1,000 uh, hubs that are sold, right, 1,000 hubs that are sold, then, and the hubs are the 1998 or the 1498 and up, right? So those are one hub, those, those two devices uh, at the 1998 euro and the 1498 euro. So that, 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 is, that is considered a hub purchase. And then you have the 2950, but the average is about, I think the 5800 is like the average. There are some that's doing 20,000. There's some people doing uh, the, the um, 43,000. Uh, so people see this opportunity and they're, they're taking advantage of it. And, and I'm blown away, uh, you know, just from my team itself, but knowing uh, from my upline and my sponsor of what's going on out there, it is, it is, it is exactly, uh, it's crazy. It's amazing. So right now we actually uh, know that the sales having process is in place. Uh, every thousand that's sold, the, there's a reduction in the minting process uh of two to four percent so at one point it was four percent reduction right and so if somebody says okay well how many coins am i going to get when i purchase you know a, a 16x package well four months ago when we first started we knew exactly what that number was but after thousands were sold like i said we're almost at 180,000 people right now so we know that we have over 90,000 of the hubs are sold well guess what happened 
4% kicks in. And now that number fluctuates every single day, because when you have a thousand hubs sold, when you have thousands of people coming into the business every month, then that price, and I mean, the price, but the actual coin production is based on that formula. Okay. So there's no one number that can be given to you, but you know that you have coins that are coming to your back office and they have their own schedule, right? So you'll see coins minted in your back office, but there's no one number uh, of, of coins when that hub is, is there. Now, what it does though, is it helps to push the price and demand up while the coins are being reduced by 4%. And then another, you know, a uh, thousand or so and, and so on and so forth. But now I think we're at 2% now. So they've reduced it a little bit, slowed it down a little bit. So you can still get a good amount of coins, uh, but they're at 2% for every thousand that's sold. Now it's at 2%. So I think after a hundred thousand, it goes from 4%. Now it's down to 2% for every thousand hubs that are sold, right? So just knowing that we're at 2%, that means that over a hundred thousand have been sold. That's that's just the equation uh, with the having process. And so knowing that after we get to another 100,000, it'll go down to 1% reduction in the amount of coins that are produced. Now, what does that do? Less coins, higher price, right? It's just a demand, supply and demand type setup. And that's, that's how that's working. And it's going fine. Like I said, the coin has increased over 800% since it started. So I believe that they kind of know what they're doing. And for anybody that's watching, you want to get on board because those coins are going to be produced no matter what. And today there's more coins that are going to be produced than it will be in February. So you can sit on the sideline and you can wait and watch. You can be in the game and wait and watch, or you can go ahead and invite you know, others into the fold so they can benefit as well before the coins go down again as far as production because they don't want too many coins in circulation or the price is going to drop, right? So you want to make sure there's a limited amount of coins. 600 million is the limit. And that right there is the maximum production, right? But with the number of people coming into the business, purchasing the hubs, that number is shrinking and shrinking and shrinking. <clears throat> so with that shrinkage, then by February, we're going to be at a year, that annual halving, right? The annual halving is going to kick in. So with the annual halving, you have 50% of the coins um, production uh, will be reduced. Now, what does that mean? Uh, Bitcoin does it, you know, so it's, no, it's not new. At February, if you're producing 100 coins a day, then by February, they're going to reduce that to 50 coins per day you kind of, I think you kind of get the picture, right? So if it's producing, let's say 10 coins per day by February, then whatever you were getting, you know, the 10 coins per day, now you're going to get five coins per day. Now you may say that's it. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> when, 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 when you look at the, the benefit of the value going up and the coin um, production reducing, let's say you have 100 coins today and over the course of the next year you you know you get to like 10,000 coins okay that's cool but you may say well the price today is 40 cent per coin but a year from now the coin the price may be $10 per coin so even though the reduction in the coins but you have an elevation in the price and so even if you had here here's the best example and then we'll move on to um, the active side of the marketing plan if you had an opportunity to purchase a Bitcoin, just one, at 40 cents, just one, you probably buy, you know, $10 worth, I'm sure, or a dollar, a dollar will get you two. So let's say you purchased two Bitcoin when it was 40 cents. Today is Zanique. You have purchased five, you know, let's say you paid, um, what, 800 euros. And you get five coins, you know, per month. I don't know, you know, I, I, whatever that number may be. By the end of the year, five per month. Let's say because we're comparing it, right? Bitcoin, forty cent, right? Okay. Zanique coin, forty cent. You get five per month times twelve months is sixty coins. So by the end of next year, the coin hits ten dollars. Okay. Okay. So you got what sixty coins, and they hit ten dollars. Okay. See what I mean? 
So if you purchased a package today and it's minting five coins a month, which, which is not, you know, it, it's more of five a day, but I'm, you know, I don't want to give you some, you know, number and you're like, oh, Rashid, you said, no, I'm just giving you a number, right? Because it's more than five a month that that's, it's not five a month. So please don't, you know, <laughs> I shouldn't even put that out there because people are like, ah, oh, he said five a month. No, it's not. It's not. Um, it's more like five a day or 10 or something like this. I, I, I forget the actual number, um, but it is definitely not five a month. It's way more than that. So anyway, over the course of a year, you, you, you know, you get X amount, the coin goes to $10 and you're like, all right, cool. Right. Um, but I can show you, I can show you my, I think I have a slide where my information is there and you can kind of get an idea uh, of, of, of the coin production, you know, so you'll know that it's not five, <laughs> man, I, I never, I know I'm never going to live that down. I'm sure. Uh, but anyway, the coin price is going to go up while the production slows down in order to keep it going, going the right direction. So that's just part of the process. Okay. So you want to get, you know, as many of the hubs or as many as the coin, uh, as possible so that you can participate and, and get higher commissions, um, um, as, as this builds. Okay. All right. So now we want to talk a little bit about, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to hit this real quick um, because I know we're, okay, I did all right. We hit it as right about, about 50 minutes. All right. So in this particular portion, this is where you make your money, right? So you may not, you may not be that person that just kind of wants to sit around and, 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 you know, rake in commissions um, for doing nothing. Okay. No problem. You want to go to work. You want to say, Hey, I'm going to earn my money. I'm going to go, I'm going to talk to some folks. I'm going to see who wants to benefit. And guess what? The company is going to reward you for that. And the company does it in three ways. You got the unit level plan, which is your referral bonus um, down to 15 levels. And you have the career and the rank bonus. And you have the global profit sharing. So with this particular part of the plan, I normally say you can easily 10x your income. Um, I think it's higher than that. But let's just say 10x. So you got the unit level career bonus and you have the global bonus pool, okay? So the first way that we're gonna discuss, and this is probably the easiest to understand, if you go out and you talk to somebody and say, look, great opportunity, you can earn some money, you can you know, have some long-term wealth here building, and here's the packages. They choose a package. Okay, I like that 29, 50 year old package. Um, I have some savings. It's not making me anything. Let me put it in here. They put it in there. They use your code. They put it in. Guess what happens? You're going to get 9% of that particular purchase. Okay. And so that's how it works. If that person invites somebody to participate in the program and they make a purchase, you know, with one of the packages that I showed 2X, 4X, 8X, so on and so forth, depending on their budget, that's where they, you know, deposit, then you're going to get a percentage of that. So if you're the one that invites them and they make a purchase, you're going to get 9%. If that person you invited, invite somebody else, you're going to get 8% and so on and so on and so on. So you're going to get paid basically down 15 levels based upon your rank structure, the level or career rank that you're, that you're at, that determines how low um, you, you get paid, how deep you get paid, I would say. So that'll take you all the way out to 15 levels. Um, and yes, those numbers get really big when you get, you know, the further you go down, the numbers get really, really big. Okay. So that's how that works. Now, um, this slide, sometimes I, I, I try to blow it up, but um, that's uh, something I need to work on because I can barely see it. So I'm sure you're probably like, oh my gosh, I can't see that. So I'm going to try to go through this and explain it. So if you can't see it, at least you can kind of, you know, uh, here, here, what's going on. So we have the first level, second level, third levels. Those, if you uh, do about 5,000 in sales, you're going to get, um, you know, a couple of bonuses, about 90 euros worth of bonuses in your first, you know, three, three levels there. Um, if you, you know, sponsor about four people, then you'll at least get, you know, get a little bonus. You'll, you'll, you'll feel that, Hey, that this works, this makes sense. Then you go ahead and uh, kick it in, you know, kick in your leadership, um, you, you enroll seven people, um, they make a purchase and your total volume is 10,000 with that total sales of 10,000 euros, you're going to get a 300 euro bonus. 
All right. And so this kind of goes uh, for the next 12 uh, different levels and they'll pay you bonuses for the production. This is in addition to your other commissions. These are additional bonuses. So when you hit 20,000 in sales, they're gonna give you 600 euro bonus. Now you have 12 people that you directly sponsored and they've uh, made it purchase a package and they're helping you build the organization. So when you do 100,000 in volume or sales, then they're gonna give you a 3,000 euro bonus. When you do 300,000 in sales, they're gonna give you a 9,000 euro bonus. When you hit 500,000 in sales, they're gonna give you 15,000 euro bonus. But when you hit 1 million in sales, yeah, this is, this is that shift a little bit to the right. Um, you have 13 direct members helping you build your organization and you get to 1 million in sales, they're gonna pay you 40,000 euro bonus. This is a bonus check that hits your back office as soon as you cross over the one million dollars in sales mark. It's instant. It is. It is a fascinating thing. It's instant, right? So the bonuses happen as soon as you you qualify. You get the bonus. There's no delay. There's no pending. None of that. You get it. Now we can go through the other, you know, six um, levels, but you know that the numbers just go up, up, and up, all the way up to two point five million dollar bonus with the fifty million uh, uh, euro. It's not dollars. It's euros. 50 you know, million euro in sales, you're gonna get a 2.5 million euro bonus check. So amazing, amazing. Now, one of the things that you see, you see these stars, right? Those stars represent shares, all right? So you wanna know what those shares represent. So in order to participate in the global profit sharing, then you have to hit those ranks. So when you hit Ruby, right, 10,000 in sales, then you're part of this bonus. When you hit double Ruby, 20,000 in sales, you hit this, you hit Sapphire, that's you know, another 100,000 in sales and so on and so on and so on, right? So this is how you qualify for the profit sharing from the global profit uh, performance bonus. Now, how does this work? The company looks at you know their revenue for the month and they take 10% of that revenue and they say, okay, how many career levels do we have? They look at the career levels and they find out, OK, we have X amount of career levels. We have 10 percent of the revenue and they divide it out. And that is the actual amount per share. So if you have one share last month, it was 150 euros. Right. Two months ago, it was 300 euros. So that just means there's more people qualifying. That's all that means, because the revenue is going up. But there's so many more people qualifying at the Ruby level and higher then this is you know pretty much what you're going to have. So you have the um, Ruby level and at 150 euro as a profit share, you're gonna get 150 euro as an additional bonus. At the double Ruby level, you're gonna get two shares, which is 300 euros and so on and so forth. So when you get the Sapphire, you get 10 shares. The 10 shares times the 150, you get 1500 euro uh, additional bonus, right? And then you get all the way up to the diamond. Diamond is 80 shares. So you get that 150 times 80. So you get over 20, about, you know, 15 to 20,000 um, euros um, uh, bonus there, right? So, so that 150 times 80, let me just do that real quick. So 12,000. So you got a 12,000 euro bonus right there. Now, what's beautiful about this one, it keeps going up, up and up. The other thing is you already got a one-time bonus from the career bonus. And you're probably saying, okay, we already got one bonus. So they're giving us another one. Okay, thank you. That's cool. No, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't get lost in the, in the sauce. You get this bonus for six months straight, for six months straight. So it's not just a bonus. You already got the career bonus. After you get the career bonus, then at the end of the month, they're going to give you another bonus and they're going to give you that every single month for six months. So if you feel that you don't have a salary, if you feel like you don't have continuous income, Let's say you work a job where you work sometime and you're on call some other times and it's just not consistent. Well, guess what? Put in the work, get to the Ruby level, talk to a few people. Everybody wants to make money. A lot of people don't want to work. That's okay. You want investors. Talk to investors, talk to people that want to make their money work for them. This is an opportunity for their money to work for them. And when their money is working for them, guess what happens? Yeah, exactly. You will go up in rank. And when you go up in rank, you get to the Ruby, double Ruby, Sapphire, double Sapphire, and so on and so forth. Let's say you get to the Sapphire level, 
you've talked to enough people. You have a job that you kind of, you know, go sometime, don't go sometime, get paid sometime, don't get paid. Well, you push forward. You find enough people that invest up to 100,000 euros into your business. When they invest, and that's not, they're not investing in your business, but they're investing in the Zanique, you know, opportunity. So they're making, you know, commissions uh, from their investment. You're making commissions as well. And so you get to the Sapphire level, you got 100,000 in volume in your organization because you have people that saw this opportunity and your job is not, you know, as consistent as you want it to be. Guess what happens? At 150 euro per, you got 10 stars. You're going to get 1,500 euros every single month, no matter what, no matter what. The only time that changes is if you go up in rank. If you go to the double Sapphire, then you get 20. So it doubles, right? So if you want 1,500, then do 100,000 and you're good. If you want to get double that, then do 300,000 in volume and you will get 3,000 euros based on last month's numbers. That's how powerful it is. That's how it works. So there's, there's no reason that we can't find a way to earn extra income or a primary income because I think 3,000 euros per month for doing something one time, I think that's more than most people make today, right? So I, I, I really, 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 really encourage you to take a serious look at this opportunity. If you're in this business, take a double serious look at this opportunity and go to work, put in work. The results are there. The company is paying every single day. You just need to get started on that commitment to help as many people as you can. This is what we're here to do, okay? So let us regain control of our finances. Let us do the work so we can help as many people as we can. All right, but that concludes my brief. Oh yeah, my screen is sharing, right? Yeah, it's there. Yes, it is. My screen is actually sharing. What? Okay, okay, <laughs> hold on. Wait, is this you sharing? Yeah. All yeah. right, all right, cool, cool. Yeah. All right, so this is this is it. So this is the app, right? So basically, the app is. Uh oh, if I put my password, do you guys see it? Oh shit. Okay, let me. Password. Password. <laughs> At this point. <laughs> okay so this is the app right so i'm guessing most people might not want to I, anyways me too where did everything go now it was right here didn't you guys see six dollars or something but yes so basically shit Zinic. Show, show, show. let me switch on my nigerian internet is not it i swear okay let me see Switch on, switch on, switch on. All right. You guys can hear me, right? So when you um send from your Zinique, your Sapphire to Zinique. So the thing is that you can send newly minted coins, right? Um, within twenty, like it has to take within twenty four to forty eight hours, so that you can send to Ethereum blockchain. So I guess because of you know the app is still new and everything, um, I wanted to test it out. It's actually cheaper to send the Zinique coin. So anyway, this how to do it. So you click Zunique, you say receive, and then you copy your, like every other blockchain stuff, you copy your stuff, put it inside Safir. I don't know if you guys can see me typing Safir. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it's the same process. You just go to your wallet, you withdraw Zunique, you stay your hubs, is the unique coin, then the amount of coins, then your address, and then I'm not going to withdraw because I don't want to withdraw right now, but yes. So I wanted to do that just so that I could see how many days it would take to come in because with Ethereum, it's based on the Ethereum 
blockchain, but you know, Zinik is able to stop. I'm guessing it's because of the um the app is actually still under review. I actually even gave like a review um in, in Google Play Store, like what is good and what isn't so good about the app. But um yes, so in that as you can see, I received it October 6th and everything shows you your transaction ID, how many block confirmation, what's how many blocks confirmed it, you know, like a real blockchain and everything. So yeah, I have like six dollars. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. yes, um let me how do I go back there? So let me stop share. But yes, um did you guys see everything I did? I don't know. I just wanted to show you that the app works. Like yeah. some people might want to, you can save. Oh, wait, hold on. That might that's actually pretty good information. Hold on. Uh uh screen again. Start now. Okay, you can actually um put Bitcoin here. So it's basically a cold wallet. So I don't know who has it, but you can see that you don't need to put your email address or anything. All you need to do is just put your like you have a seed phrase and all that stuff, like any other cold wallet. That's it. And there are like a lot of wallets here. There's Dent, Enigma, Hydro, IoT, Chainlink, everything. Well, not everything, because there are almost 9,000 coins. But yes, even those people that are like a little bit confused and everything, if you see over here, you have the Zinic Ethereum wallet. So instead of using Uniswap, I can just send it directly um, through that. Okay. Uh-oh. Oopsies. Oopsie daisies. All right. Um, yes, I'm done. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hello. Good stuff. Good stuff. No, I appreciate it. I, I was interested. Um, I saw some of the coins, uh, tokens that I, you know, I purchased back in the day, some of the altcoins that I thought would, you know, do something and um, hadn't, you know, really even thought about them in a while. And I'm going through, I'm like, oh my gosh, they're, they're right here on the Zodiac app. And I haven't yeah, seen it. Yeah. And you, you can know. like, and I'm pretty sure when you got it, it had a, its own wallet for everything. So with the Zinic app, you can have all that in one place. And the way, it works. You see all your cumulative amounts. So let's say you have zero point one Bitcoin, one Ethereum, one Zinique. Okay, maybe you have like ten thousand Zinics. Then all this other stuff, you will see maybe like hundred grand in your Zinic app and stuff. It just acts like a normal. It's like the trust wallet and the Exodus and all that stuff. It's like MetaMax and all that stuff. Yes, I do have a nice accent. Thank you, Mr. World Famous. <laughs> My friends always told me that. All right, let's move that to, I don't worry about that part. Uh, Ryan, can you hear me? Oh, hello, hello, this is Rashid, yeah. Yeah, I said Raheem Rashid, I'm sorry. It's all good, <laughs> all right. it's all good. Yes, yeah, this hey, hey, Tim, what's yeah, going on, man? Nah, that, yeah, I just wanted to holler at you there. That's uh enjoy the uh presentation now. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. that. Appreciate the support. Yeah, man. great information. Great information now. Good. Yeah. Thank all you. Right, all right. I just want to highlight it. That's all. Enjoy the presentation. Good stuff, man. Thank you. I yeah, I sure appreciate that. Um all right. All right so I'm cool. gonna, all right, cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna let me see if I can pull up this uh, this video real quick.